This is the Music History Today podcast for April 6th. On today's show, a government official gets stupid, shocking. Merle Haggard says hello and goodbye, and happy birthday to a Hollywood music landmark. First up on this date in 1956, speaking of that Hollywood music landmark, the building that houses Capitol Records, the famed Capitol Tower with its stacked records look, opened in Hollywood, California. In 1956, same day, Elvis Presley signed a movie contract with Paramount Studios, only a few miles away from the Capitol Records building. In 1963, Fats Domino signed a record deal with ABC Paramount. In 1965, Elvis Presley recorded his song, Crying in the Chapel. Also in 1965, the Beach Boys recorded their song, California Girls. In 1966, the Beatles recorded their song, Tomorrow Never Knows. In 1969, Pete Quaife left the group The Kinks. In 1971, James Taylor went to a Carly Simon concert and then met her backstage for the first time. They were married the next year. In 1974, the California Jam Rock Concert was held in Ontario, California, with over 200,000 people attending. In 1976, the first quadraphonic movie soundtrack, Ladies and Gentlemen, The Rolling Stones, premiered. In 1979, Rod Stewart married model Alana Collins. In 1980, Andrew Wood formed the early Seattle sound group Malfunction. In 1983, United States Secretary of the Interior, James Watt, announced that the Beach Boys could not play at the July 4th holiday concert in Washington, D.C. because the band would bring, quote, an undesirable element, end quote, to the concert, i.e. their fans. In 1984, Steve Van Zandt announced that he was leaving the E Street Band. He would return about a decade or so later. In 1992, George Harrison performed at Royal Albert Hall in London, England. It turned out to be his last full concert. In 1997, Disneyland closed the Michael Jackson ride attraction Captain EO. In 2012, Seal divorced Heidi Klum, and in 2016, the group NCT was formed. In theater, in 1955, the musical Three for Tonight opened on Broadway. In 1975, the musical review The Night That Made America Famous closed on Broadway. In 1987, the Broadway show Having Our Say opened on Broadway. And in 1999, the musical Mamma Mia opened in London, England. In award ceremonies that were held on April 6th in 1968, Spain won the Eurovision Song Contest. In 1974, ABBA from Sweden won the Eurovision Song Contest and became stars with their winning song, Waterloo. In 1987, Randy Travis, Reba McIntyre, and Hank Williams Jr. were among the big winners at the Academy of Country Music Awards. In 2013, Miranda Lambert, Jason Aldean, and Luke Bryan were among the big winners at the Academy of Country Music Awards. And in 2014, Miranda Lambert, Jason Aldean, and George Strait were among the big winners at the Academy of Country Music Awards. Albums that were released on April 6th include in 1968 when Cilla Black released Charu. In 1979, Jean-Jacques Burnell released Euroman Cometh. In 1981, Roger Taylor released Fun in Space. In 1982, The Motels released All 4-1. In 1987, The Cult released Electric. In 1992, Annie Lennox released Diva. In 1993, Tool released Undertow, their debut album. In 1993, same day, Bruce Hornsby released Harbor Lights. In 1995, The Dandy Warhols released Dandy's Rule, okay? In 1999, Big Sugar released Heated and the Fat Music Volume 4, Life in the Fat Lane, compilation album was released. In 2009, Jane's Addiction released A Cabinet of Curiosities, and in 2010, Peter Wolf released Midnight Souvenirs, and Madonna released her album for the Sticky and Sweet Tour. Singles that were released on April 6th include in 1957 when the Everly Brothers released Bye Bye Love, in 1959 Johnny Horton released The Battle of New Orleans, in 1965 Elvis Presley released Crying in the Chapel, 
1967, The Marvelettes released When You're Young and in Love. In 1970, Diana Ross released her first solo single, Reach Out and Touch Somebody's Hand. In 1988, Tracy Chapman released Fast Car. In 1992, Genesis released Hold On My Heart. And in 2018, Cardi B released I Like It, which featured Bad Bunny and J Balvin. Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa released One Kiss. Drake released Nice For What. Kia released Como Le Digo. And Asher Angel released Getaway. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In Depth podcast where we go more in depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on April 6th include country music legend Merle Haggard, session musician Louis Shelton, guitarist Gordon Giltrap, rapper Lil Jojo, rapper Tay Money, bassist Raina Lavellis, rapper Ming Yu, country music singer Paige McKenzie, Pianist Tokyo Myers, guitarist Warren Haynes, Black Francis of the Pixies, singer Carrie Job, Selwyn Brown of Steel Pulse, singer Max Bamis, singer-songwriter Martine, singer Elin Jewell, jazz pianist John Pizzarelli, country music singer Vernon Dalbhart, singer Texas Terry, opera singer Martha Lipton, composer Andre Previn, harmonica player Walter Horton, jazz musician Jerry Mulligan, Alan Lee Brackett of the Peanut Butter Conspiracy, John Stacks of The Pretty Things, Tony Connor of Hot Chocolate, Udo Dirkschneider of Accept, and Christopher Frank of Tangerine Dream. Artists who unfortunately passed away on April 6th include composer Tommaso Treta, who passed away in 1779 at the age of 52. Composer Rinaldo Van Overing passed away in 1982 at the age of 90. Composer Lawrence Ott passed away in 1805 at the age of 56. Composer Bonaventura Ferlanetto passed away in 1817 at the age of 78. Composer Frantesic Parch passed away in 1822 at the age of 62. Multi-instrumentalist and band leader Francis Johnson passed away in 1844 at the age of 51. Composer and conductor Stefan Serzinski passed away in 1919 at the age of 63. Composer Giuseppe Radesiati passed away in 1931 at the age of 73. Composer Andre Sisasi passed away in 1940 at the age of 49. Composer and pianist Vaclav Kapral passed away in 1947 at the age of 58. Composer Halfton Cleave passed away in 1951 at the age of 71. Classical composer extraordinaire Mr. Igor Stravinsky passed away in 1971 at the age of 88. Composer Nicholas Nabokov passed away in 1978 at the age of 74. Composer Milton Ager passed away in 1979 at the age of 85. Singer-songwriter Jimmy Kennedy passed away in 1984 at the age of 81. Singer Raul Donner passed away in 1984 at the age of 41. Composer Mark Lothar passed away in 1985 at the age of 82. Jazz trumpet player and composer Dick Carey passed away in 1994 at the age of 77. Singer and composer Nadia passed away from a pulmonary embolism and also breast cancer in 1996 at the age of 37. Country music icon Tammy Wynette passed away in 1998 at the age of 55. Wendy O. Williams of the group The Plasmatics committed suicide in 1998 at the age of 49. The man nicknamed Mr. Swing, a jazz vibraphonist Red Norvo, passed away in 1999 at the age of 91. Cellist William Pleath passed away in 1999 at the age of 83. Singer Charles Pettigrew of Charles and Eddie passed away from cancer in 2001 at the age of 37. Percussionist and social activist Babatunde 
Alotunji passed away in 2003 at the age of 75. Guitarist Nikki Sullivan of Buddy Holly and the Crickets passed away from heart issues in 2004 at the age of 66. Composer Augustin Bloch passed away in 2006 at the age of 76. Composer Jacques Castored passed away in 2014 at the age of 87. TV show orchestra leader for The Tonight Show and The Gong Show. Multi-instrumentalist and composer Milton DeLug passed away in 2015 at the age of 96. The music professor at the University of Saskatchewan from 1960 to 1982 and the conductor of the Saskatoon Symphony from 1962 to 1972, composer David Kaplan passed away in 2015 at the age of 91. Country music superstar Merle Haggard passed away in 2016 on his 79th birthday. And drummer Dennis Davis of David Bowie's backup band from 1974 to 1980 and 2003 to 2004 passed away from cancer in 2016 at the age of 66. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is April 7th, when in 1915, jazz singing great Billie Holiday was born. <laughs>